Hi there, this is Brian, and I want to show you how you can create your very own SVG files to use with whiteboard video using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, a lot of people now have gone to using whiteboard videos to create their marketing videos and things, and this is really the way to go It's what is trending now and probably will be for a very long time and if you're having trouble coming up with uh, your own images or different images especially if you're using programs like uh, explaindio um, easy sketch pro you know they have a lot of uh, images that they offer with the program you can buy other other images and even with video scribe um, if you're looking for your own unique images that is unique to you, something that you really want to use in a whiteboard video, and you just can't find that image anywhere in what you already have that come with your software, then you can actually create your own. And that's what I'm going to show you here. Now, for time's sake, I've already opened up this image that, that I've created. This is a logo for my website that I have, the Pastel Artist. Now, in order to be able to, if you go online and if you buy from any stock photo shops, uh, stock photo sites, uh, or wherever you decide that you're going to get your image to use to create this SVG file from, then you, you need to look for the PNG extensions. Um, if you have an image that is just a JPEG, then the JPEG itself won't work as far as just converting it. What you'll have to do if all you have is a JPEG, then you'll just have to take that JPEG. You can open it up in GIMP or Photoshop or even Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape for that matter. And you can uh, choose save for the web and you can actually save that JPEG as a PNG because to do the conversion, it needs to be a PNG. And, uh, this is the PNG that I have, of course, and this is just the first step here that you see on the screen here. I've just opened it up inside of Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to take you through all the steps that you need to create an SVG file that will work with VideoScribe, uh, Explaindio, Easy Sketch Pro, uh, Powtoons, any, any whiteboard software that creates whiteboard videos. So what you want to do here, you want to make sure that your image is actually selected. Um, got my image selected here. And inside Adobe Illustrator, there's a shortcut up here uh, in the toolbar where it says Image Trace. Uh, you can go there or you can go up here to where it actually says Object at the top. And you can go down to Image Trace and you can do Make. Uh, you want to expand it so you can just do make and expand. I always like just using the image trace up here in the toolbar. So I'll press the image trace. And once I do that, it's going to actually trace this image. Now, if you have a colored image just like I have here, once you do the trace by default, it's going to make it a black and white uh, image. And if you, most whiteboard videos are in black and white. And if you want to keep it just the black and white version here, you can do so. But if you want to keep it the color, then you'll go over here to where it says preset up here in the upper two bar. And you'll want to choose high fidelity photo. And once you do that, then it'll bring your color back. But the only thing about it is sometimes it, it it's not it's the, the lines in, in these PNG files is not exactly, you know, like you once had it in the original PNG file. Once you trace it and once you choose your high fidelity color, as you can see, you can see there's a little bit of break in the black of the outline here, but it's not too bad. I mean, you, you can always take and you can scale it down if you want to scale it down just a little bit. Um, to make it look a little little bit better but it's not too bad you know still being a uh, color like that so what I'm gonna do here now is 
I'm going to actually go back and, and just keep mine as a as default. Choose default and it'll make it black and white because this is the standard now for what you see in, in whiteboard videos. Most people just have, it draws out you black and white images. You can choose and keep it color if you want to and that's how you make it color is just choose the high fidelity photo. But once you trace it, what you'll want to do is it, you want to click the expand button. And when you click the expand button, it actually expands all the details uh, line by line, basically. And then what you'll do here is after you click to expand it, you'll want to go up to where it says object and you want to choose ungroup because you'll want to ungroup that. Now, if you just save it as a SVG right now, after you ungroup it, you're probably going to get this little bounding box when you put it inside of uh, Easy Sketch Pro or inside of Video Scribe or explain to you whatever software you're using. It's going to draw out that little bounding box. So typically, not about 99% of the time, you're only going to have to do one other step. And that's go over here to your Layers panel. And you'll want to just expand that and you'll see all the paths after you've ungrouped it and typically see this last uh, layer here this last path here I'm, I'm gonna click on that it's blank everything else you see has a uh, black writing uh, some type of line art in it but the last one is is just blank it's solid white now if I hide that and before I hide that if you'll pay attention to this image here you'll notice that my bounding box is going to go away so if i take and hide that by clicking that eye icon then it's going to take that bounding box away do you see how that blue line around my image kind of came in just a little bit that means it took the bounding box away now if you click back on that you know of course it would put your bounding box back on there you don't want that. So what you'll want to do is you'll just basically want to highlight that last path, or that last layer. Press the trash can here and just delete that. Now once you delete that, you've deleted that bounding box. So you don't have to worry about that bounding box trying to draw out when you put it inside of Easy Sketch Pro or whatever software you're using. Now you want to go up here to File. This is where we're going to save it as the SVG. You'll want to choose the Save As option. And once you choose the Save As option, if you'll notice up here at the very top, at the name of the image, it's still going to have the PNG extension up here. But first, what you'll want to do is go down to the bottom, and you'll want to click those arrows, and you'll want to click the uh, regular SVG. Don't click Compressed. Click the regular SVG. Go back up to the top with the, at the name here. You'll want to take that PNG extension out. If you don't, it's not going to do right. It's not going to recognize it as just a SVG because it's trying to give it two names, two extensions, PNG and SVG. You have to manually take that out. So you just basically just go up and backspace that. And now you just have your image name dot SVG. And you just choose where you want to save at. I'm going to actually save this to my desktop here. And once I save that, you don't really have to do anything else. Everything here, just leave it default. Uh, it's going to be SVG according to what version you're using. 1.1, might be 1.0. Just leave everything default the way it is here. Uh, make sure that your options where in, uh, image location is. Make sure it's on embed and not linked. Make sure embed is clicked. And just click OK. And once you do that... <clears throat> then you have your actual SVG created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up uh, Explain to you and I'm going to show you this in action how, how it works. You may be using VideoScribe or some other, other program but I'm going to be testing this inside of Explain to you here. I'm going to create a project I'm just going to name this uh, pastel just to give it a name I'm going to create that and now what I'm going to do here is 
going to actually add a new sketch scene and I'm going to add my SVG image that I've just saved. So I'm going to browse to my desktop here. And I'm going to grab that SVG file. And here it is right here. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to expand it a little bit so you can see a lot better. And then when I click on preview, you'll see that it's going to actually start drawing it out. Now, <clears throat> most of your programs, like Explain.io, uh, Video Scribe, it's going to draw it kind of fast. So to get the real uh, effect on that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to whatever software you're using. You'll want to change the duration of your video, actually. This way it's going to draw it out a little slower and it will give you that full effect of the whiteboard video. If you'll notice here how it's actually just drawing it out and you can see it drawing it out a little slower. And it puts the detail in there uh, such as that. And then if I open the canvas or if I just click preview up here to make it a little larger so you can see. And that's another tip. Uh, if you're using Explain.io, whatever program you're using to create your whiteboard videos, when you're doing your own SVG uh, files, the slower duration that you make that video, the more of the drawing effect that it's going to give you. So always remember that. And if you just keep it at default, at the default speed, most of the time it's going to draw it too fast and it's not going to really look, look like it's supposed to. But if you'll just slow it down, I always take mine down and, and make mine the slowest I can, you know, without it being just too awful slow. And it just gives you that effect where it can shows you drawing the character out and shows you writing in some of the text. And it gives you a, a better effect. So that's how you create your own SVG video, uh, files for whiteboard videos. Make sure you're using PNGs. If you're having a JPEG image only, then convert it to a PNG and then follow these steps that I just showed you. And you can have your own library of SVG files for your whiteboard videos.